Hi, I was going to tell y'all about a way to stay warm in an emergency. Like if there's a power outage or something like that and, you, and your heat is turned off. A good way to stay warm is with niacin. Uh, you don't have to take a full 100, 250 milligrams. You can, you can cut that pill into fourths and only use like about a fourth of it or even less than that. And you can adjust your dose. If you get too warm, if too, uh, you know, the amount a fourth of a pill is too much, you just knock that down and sort of put the crumbles back in the jar and then you can spoon it out into, you know, make another dose later with the crumbs at the bottom. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I use it all the time. When it's real, real cold, I get the chills. And uh, it's also good for cholesterol. Uh, lip they use it like Lipitor with Lipitor. And also it's a vasodilator. And so, you know, it, it works like that. That's how it opens up the veins and makes you warm. And it's also used for uh, Alzheimer's. Anyway, uh, there's also, uh, you have to get the certain kind. There's two kinds. There's this flushing, and it doesn't say anything on it about it right here. And then there's the non-flushing kind right here, and it'll say no flush like that. You don't want to get that if you want this to make you warm, because that's... Uh, what the no flush means that means it doesn't make you warm and uh, so here's a video about uh, uh, shows people how to lose weight using niacin but I like to use it to stay warm and he goes over the, um, the facts about how it makes you feel warm and other other topics and uh, I'll just I'll put the link in the description box and a link for you to, to click here on the screen to see the original video. And now I'll play a little bit of it here. It covers the ways and means for superior health and his approach through uh, fat loss and weight loss. He took his shirt off to show how red his skin is for this video and he took a bunch of niacin and that's what's making his skin red because it opens up the capillaries and it makes the skin red where the blood is coming up to the surface and making you warm I take it to stay warm uh, in the winter time when it's like 20 degrees outside or if you're going to be outside shoveling snow playing football or um, just any activities outside where you're going to be cold in the cold you take it and it uh, He's talking about detoxification and to always get the flushing variety of, you know, if it says non-flushing, don't get it because that would be a waste of money because the whole point of it is to make you feel warmer and the flushing variety is what does that. It opens up the capillaries and the, the blood uh, gets closer to the skin and it makes you feel a little bit of heat. So you, um, and itching too. If you take too much, you don't, it says, the bottle says, uh, 250 milligrams, but I always just take, I just break off with my tooth or a knife or something, just break off a little, a little chunk and try, um, like about 10 to 20 milligrams. Then you can work your way up from there, uh, if you're not, if you don't feel warm. But once you get too much, you start itching, your face burns, and it goes away and, if it becomes distressing, you know, it'll go away in like 20 minutes to uh, two hours. <clears throat> it'll pass. Just drink a bunch of water and it'll flush it out of your system.